songs every now and then. I don't think I don't think I'm cold. When I'm get up, then I saw the fire, all the building, and when I look, I, I, I look at down, then I saw the fire, and that the fire they start the place where we go in, we go outside, because it's the only one place to go out, and I broke the window and just also to try to get myself, and when I'm fell down, then the people they just explain me that I'm taking three hours to come. To what? To get up because I was worried like I'm dead. So this is tragic. This is very sad and I want to pass my condolences to that of the government, to the families of those who have passed on. But the lesson for us is that we've got to address this problem and boot and everything else, boot out those criminal elements because it is these types of buildings that are taken over by criminals who then levy rents on the vulnerable people and families who need and want accommodation in the city and in the city. And it speaks to the type of cities that we should have. Of the Gauteng Health Department to do the same, especially. We haven't yet handed over the scene totally to the police, something police services, because of the certain things that we still have to embark on. From 14 hours, we've already declared the scene to be more of an investigative sort of um, space. Um, by the time we preparing to come this side, we could actually at that point account for 73 bodies.